They say, if you want to be successful, don't be the person who replaces the legend. Be the person who replaces the person who replaces the legend. Obviously, Elisa Chiterio didn't get that memo. 18 months ago, she became music director for the brilliant Tafel Music Ensemble, taking over for Jean Lamont, who'd only performed that same role for 33 years. So what's the new music director got up her sleeve? Let's find out. And welcome, Elisa Chiterio, to our studio. Auguri. So nice to meet you. Congratulations <laughs> nice meet on the you. new job. Buonasera. You're from Italy, obviously, right? Exactly. Where in Italy are you from? I'm from Brescia. Brescia, where's that? Brescia is not far from Milan, like an hour. In the north? In the north. Okay. And w when did you come to Canada? I came here the first time was 2015. Then I came back to Italy. Then I came back here. And then finally I moved here 2017 at the end of the year. 2017. So you've only yeah. been here two years. Yes, not, wow, not okay. so much. How old were you when someone put a violin in your hands for the first time? I was five, but I wanted the violin in my hands. You did? Yes, I was really watching the TV, and it was a fabulous orchestra playing, and I called my mother, Mommy, come here, I want to play that instrument. I pointed the violin. I was, I think, fascinated by the movements the, of all the bows together, and then my mother, asked me, are you sure? And I thought, yes. And so the next day I had a violin, a very tiny one, actually. She bought you one right away? Yes, it's a very cheap one. Yes, but, and <laughs> yeah. did, you, did, did you love it right away? Um, I was already playing some piano, um, so I had music in my ears. Uh, and yes, I liked, I didn't like to practice, but I liked to have the violin in my heart. Arms. But you took lessons from the beginning, I yes. suppose, yes? yes? Lessons yes. right away, and you didn't like to practice? I didn't like so much to practice. At the beginning, um, I started liking practice when I was, I think, 12. 12, okay. So it was a long way. And how much would you practice then? How many, how many minutes a day? Oh, uh, it was about an hour. An hour a day? Yeah. How, many hour, how much do you practice now? Now, when I can, uh, I try to practice three, four hours. In a day? In a day, yeah. Maron, isn't yes. that difficult? Uh, no, it, I'm enjoying that when, I, when I'm able to play and hmm. to read music. That's the most beautiful thing. Like, I've heard you play. Yeah. It is a beautiful thing. <laughs> and you're going to play something for us in a moment, but I have a few questions still first. I'm always interested in the difference between nature and nurture. Do you think you are a great violinist because God gave you skills or because you practice four hours a day? I think it was a combination of things. Uh, first is my mother, who used to play classical music <clears throat> the whole day, like from breakfast time to sleeping time. When you say play, you don't mean she, no, played, play, she played on the radio uh, or a record radio, player? Radio, yes, okay. sorry for that. Radio, mm -hmm. uh, so I had in my ears classical music, always. So it was natural for me then to, to start to play something, to produce sounds. And then obviously uh, <clears throat> the practice is a fundamental part of mm -hmm. our training. Without that, even the most incredible talent can't grow up. Right. I, I want people to hear you do your thing. So why don't you start to tune up right yep. here? Thank and you. as you're tuning up, can I talk to you while you tune up? Sure. Okay. Here we go. We start from the A. Yes. Very nice, and that's it? That's it. That's how you tune up, okay, wonderful. Well, I'm going to get out of your way, and I know for a violinist, you need to stand up, right? Yes, that's better. Okay, so I will go off set, I will give you space, you can take over here, and what are you going to play? I'm going to play uh, an allegro uh, from uh, Fantasia by Telemann. Okay. For solo violin. Allegro means fast. A so bit fast. We look forward to it. Okay, Thank you. all yours.
Citerio Magnifico. Wow, how Thank about you. that? Thank you. Per piacere. That was, now, can I ask you a bit about that? Sure. I notice when you are playing, you move around a lot, right? You're bending your knees, you're moving, you're in motion. How much of that is because you are lost in the piece and you're just overcome? And how much is show business because it looks good? Um, actually, the rhythm, the sound uh, vibrates in the body. So the body naturally follows the music and the, the beats. So, and then maybe there is, uh, some, there is this movement also because I'm leading the whole time, the orchestra. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a baton, but I have to play while I'm leading. So I have to show the tempo, I have to show the dynamic. If I don't do that, uh, they don't know where to go. And so I have to exaggerate a little bit my movements, I see. So my body language. Because they are looking to you for their cues. Exactly. I understand. Okay, I want to show this as well. Sheldon, you want to bring this up here? Vivaldi con amore. Here we go. Tafel Music Baroque Orchestra. That's your first piece, right? Your first CD with the group? That's the first recording with the group. Yeah, with the group. Yeah. Why do you love Vivaldi so much? Maybe because I'm Italian. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> no, reason. Uh, I mean, uh, Vivaldi is such an incredible composer. He was so prolific and he wrote for many instruments. So, and the music is very easy to understand. It goes directly in the heart of the people. It doesn't require so much of knowledge. And um, so everyone can enjoy Vivaldi music. But it's also very important for us as training because for technical development of just not for the violin, but especially for the violin, it's a very uh, good piece, good music to practice on. Hmm. Now, Elisa, I mentioned off the top that you are replacing someone who had the same job you have now yes. for 33 years. 33. She is a bit of a legend in this country. And I wonder why you are not intimidated or nervous about taking over for Jean Lamont. Uh, I was, I, if I had to be honest, I was. Then I met with her a few times before to take the role and afterwards. And uh, she gave me such wonderful advice with, to work with this orchestra. And uh, she, like she, her um, example is so inspiring for me. And then what I got is a wonderful ensemble, so well trained, they, they really speak the same language. So it was very easy for me to jump in and to adjust with my style, but it, it, it's very, very uh, nice to work with them. Because it's not enough just to be a great musician, right? You are the leader of this group. You have decisions to make and you have to be in charge. Is that difficult? A lot of decision, yes. And it's a bit difficult because sometimes, obviously, not all my decisions make everyone happy, but then I'm, I always try to think at the best for the organization. So looking at that and having that in my mind, uh, I'll try to uh, make the best deci decisions. Sure. Um, we'll so see. in our last couple of minutes here, give me some sense about how you would like to see things going forward for Tafel Music. If you have your way, how is, the, how is the ensemble going to reflect your personality and your values and your interests and all of that? Uh, I think I'm bringing uh, really a lot of my Italian background here. Uh, which is done uh, of what I see every day in the street, what I saw every day in Italy, like Baroque arts everywhere, at churches, and a lot of contrast. Uh, also Italian people sometimes are a bit crazy in that sense. So I'm trying to connect my uh, experience with their great uh, value. And so what I think for the future is coming at 
sort of even a new sound, which is a wonderful Canadian sound and uh, extreme Italian sound sometimes. So extreme dynamics and some colors of my country. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. We wish you great good luck. And you should feel right at home in Toronto, you know. Yeah, there are so many Italians here. There are a few. Yeah. Yes, there are indeed. I hope they are behaving well. <laughs> uh, if you're an example, everything is spectacular. We remind everybody, Vivaldo, con amore. Thank That's you. That's your new CD. And we are so grateful that you came in and spent some time with us here at TVO tonight. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Alla prossima volta. <laughs> Arrivederci. Ciao. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. CPA Ontario is a regulator, an educator, a thought leader, and an advocate. We protect the public. We advance our profession. We guide our CPAs. We are CPA Ontario. And by viewers like you. Thank you.